best well performing all range ones so yeah as you can see, so hello gamers and welcome back to another episode of my ranking series. If you guys haven't seen an episode before, I recommend you check out the assault rifle ranking video because not only is it the most popular category, also I explain how I rank the guns in that video. But today we're ranking the machine pistol category, which is pretty strange. It's gotten some major changes and two new ones in the latest update. So let's just start it off with the Glock 18. Also comment your favorite machine pistol down below. First off though, we have the Glock 18C. Now the Glock 18C has 1,100 RPM. You'll see a lot of fast fire firing machine pistols, and this is definitely up there. The problem with that is that it does 30 damage up close, which is a four hit. So while it will still kill pretty fast, it does do a little bit less damage than some of the other machine pistols. Let me melee this guy. But it still kills pretty fast. It does have a six hit kill now. It used to do 20 min and have a five hit kill. Oh, wait, I gotta melee him again. Also, it does a little bit less damage than it used to, and it also doesn't have amazing recoil, as you can see, like... It used to have like no recoil, now it has quite a bit, but it does have a 33 round extended magazine, kind of like a pocket P5K type, four to six hit, really fast RPM gun. It kills extremely fast, and I'm not gonna lie, if you don't want to like go through like, what's the downside of this one, and what's the upside of this one? If you just want an overall pretty good machine pistol, this is really good. I don't think it's top tier necessarily but it's up there. I'm going to give it a four to five because there's not really any reason to not use this gun. It just doesn't have anything super special about it. But next up, we have the 93R. Now the 93R has the same RPM as the Glock, has the same default capacity, lower overall recoil, and better damage both max and min, being able to three kill to five hit instead of four to six, which is really, really good. However, it's a burst and it has delay. So here's the thing about this gun, right? It can three hit kill, which means it can one burst, but not really that far. If you get the delay down, it's not bad in terms of burst delay, but I'm going to be real. For me, this is probably the worst machine pistol in the game. It used to be the best by far because it used to have less recoil and no delay. So you can actually get this like full RPM. It is still very, very good. It's not super accurate anymore and it can one burst, but not super far. So I will be giving this one a three out of five because of the fact that it has overall good stats. But if you're going for a machine pistol, you want a panic secondary, not a burst that you have to worry about hitting the burst down perfectly. But next up though, we have the PP2000. Now the PP2000 is a new machine pistol and while it doesn't fire super fast, it has 600 RPM. So it has like 400 RPM less than usual. However, it can three hit kill body and two hit kill to the head. And the three hit kill range is pretty good. 50 studs. We kill head range is about 45 studs and it does do pretty good overall damage. It drops off kind of hard at range. It is a six hit kill at range. It has actually pretty decent recoil and a 20 round mag, fast reload time, pretty good reserve ammo, especially for a mission pistol. And if you use the magazine stock, which does increase recoil, it will have 120 reserve. <gasps> Yes, I want. But yeah, six mags of reserve ammo with magazine stock is kind of cracked. And if you want a lot of reserve ammo and great ammo consumption rate because it doesn't shoot too fast and good damage, this is very, very good. It's also super accurate. I'm going to be real. This is a five out of five machine pistol. It's not necessarily the best, but I'm going to be real. In my opinion, it might be the best because honestly, for the RPM and how it fires, I can hit consistent three hit kills and even the two hit kill head. Some people will say two hit kill to the head. It's kind of overrated. And I can kind of concede that in a lot of cases, but for this gun that is a two hit kill head right there two hits at 600 rpm that's another one you can actually get those two hits and it's kind of busted when you do that so this is a five out of five i'm gonna be real if you want an overall just good machine pistol i said the glock 18 was the best for that and i still do agree that because this is a very slow firing machine pistol as far as machine pistols go but yeah i mean it's better than the glock doesn't have the same time to kill in some aspects but made up for it by the fact that it's accurate and basically a primary. Next up though, we have the Tech 9, which used to be second best machine pistol in my opinion. The only thing that was better in my opinion was the 93R. However, this gun kind of sucks now. I'm not going to lie. It has 1,500 RPM, which is the highest in class and can have a 32 round extended mag, but it does awful damage. It does 24 damage, which is a five hit kill max down to a six hit kill. And since long barrel can't even be used on that anymore because long barrel would make it a six hit kill maximum, which is just awful. And as you can see, I'm already out of reserve ammo this is not an awful secondary per se but it's not a good machine pistol it's fine it kills very very fast but just not as fast because you know it is a five hit kill which means no fire super fast it's not gonna have the best time to kill because it's gonna take more shots to kill a guy which is really bad especially with a recoil and the amount of ammo consumption as you can see i just can't even use it anymore because i'm out of bullets it does have one kind of decent thing about it which is that it is a very good panic secondary you only get like two mags but 
yeah, you can uh, at least kill one guy with a mag. The PP2000, you can use it as a primary. This, you can't use as a primary. The thing about it is that, yeah, you can use it as a panic secondary, but you can also use the Glock 18 and the PP2000 as that, and they'll probably just do better. It is a 3 out of 5 because it shoots so fast, and it can have a 32 round mag, which the Glock 18 can have a 33. It still has double the reserve, so it's definitely a 3 out of 5 because it fires so fast, so you can use it still. Next up, though, we have the Micro Uzi. The Micro Uzi used to be just objectively the worst machine pistol in the game, but now it's actually really, really good because of a few things. First off, it did get a bomb, it got a full stock and a bigger magazine and more reserve, and also because of OEG, because OEG is the only reason that this gun is even viable at all, in my opinion. Here's the thing, when you shoot it, like, you, you can't even tell where it's going, right? However, when you use OEG, you can tell where it's going. The bullets are actually just highlighted because... You can go, oh, that dot is where they're going, which means you can actually correct for the annoying recoil, just like the M231. That makes it way better, as you can see. And because of full stock, meaning lower recoil, and you have a bigger default magazine with more reserve, this goes from a pretty trash machine pistol to just an objectively better in every way machine pistol to something like the Tech 9, in my opinion. It has more reserve, it has a bigger default magazine, it doesn't fire quite as fast, but it has two better shots to kill, which means that, yeah, it doesn't matter that it has a smaller magazine, you're going to kill a guy more often. You can actually run this as a actual gun for closer ranges, way better than the Tech 9. It's not even a bad panic secondary either. I'm gonna be real, this is a 4 out of 5 gun. If you want a 3 hit kill with very fast RPM and a nice 25 round magazine, this gun is for you. Like, look at that. It has a lot of recoil, but my brain just corrects for it with OEG. My brain goes, hey, that's a dot. Let me just um, pull that down to like where the guy is. But next up, you have the Scorpion. Now, the Scorpion does have a long barrel, which is pretty trash now. It has some cool ammo types, and it does three hit kill up close with a six hit kill at range, and it has a pretty fast rate of fire. However, I'm going to be real. Because of the recoil nerf on this gun, it is still a five out of five. I'm not going to lie. It's still really up there. One of the best machine pistols in the game, but it's not really a primary secondary in the same way that something like the PP2000 is. It has bad velocity, where it's hits to kill, or it's range. Yeah, it's a pretty good gun. I'm not gonna lie. It's very, very good. Definitely really up there. That's one of the best machine pistols in the game. I should probably mention 9mm. 9mm is fine. It gives you a tiny bit more RPM and a bigger magazine. However, it's kind of worse because you can't 3-hit. So 50 more RPM is not a big deal if you can't 3-hit anymore. I kind of prefer the 3-hit kill because a 4-hit kill at 900 RPM is fine, I guess. But then the Glock is kind of just better at that point. But then you have the ASMI. Now, I've been talking about the ASMI since before it even got added to the test place. That is how long I've been advocating for how broken this gun is. And yeah, it's not necessarily broken. It's not necessarily the best performing damage wise for machine pistols in the game. However, it's just a primary, but worse. Yes, it doesn't have great hits to kill. It's a four hit. It's a three hit torso, and it does have almost a two hit kill head, but 600 RPM. But it has a 33 round magazine, 100 reserve ammo, and very low recoil. It also does actually more damage at range than the PP2000. And yes, the PP2000, if you're hitting the same number of shots in close range. But like I said, this is just a primary secondary. It even takes grips, which literally no other secondary in the entire game can do that. I'll give it a five out of five because it's not necessarily a better gun than the PP2000, but it performs better at longer range ranges while having a bigger magazine, lower recoil, more reserve. So it's overall better than the PP2000 by quite a long shot at range, as you can see. It just feels like a primary. So yeah, I'm going to be giving this one a 5 out of 5. It's not necessarily the best. Other machine pistols will destroy it in close range, but no other machine pistol holds up quite as well. And yeah, for auto secondaries, this is probably the best well-performing all-range one. So yeah. As you can see, next up we have the MP1911. The MP1911 is surprisingly very, very good. It used to not be amazing, but then they buffed it. They basically increased the damage and gave it a faster reload. That's how kind of eh it was before. Now it's basically a small magazine, but two hit kill and three hit kill body. The five hit at range machine pistol with 1000 RPM. And honestly, it has pretty low recoil as well. Not the best recoil in the game, but I'm going to be real. The recoil is not bad for the amount of damage it does because it does more damage than the PP2000 and fires faster, but not bad recoil. It doesn't have a lot of reserve ammo. The recoil isn't amazing or anything. Pretty good gun all around. 9mm is actually pretty cracked now that I think about it because extremely low recoil. Like, that's pretty low. 1,300 RPM and a 4 to 6 shot, but kind of beats the Tech 9 now. Not gonna lie, like, it's kind of just better than the Tech 9. Not necessarily better in every way. It doesn't have as big of a magazine. But yeah, this is going to be getting a 5 out of 5 because it doesn't do everything well. 
but what it does, it does well. It does good damage and it fires fast. That's about all it really needs to do to be top tier. It might be better than the micro Uzi depending on how you look at it. But finally at rank 110, but finally we have the arm pistol. Now the arm pistol is an extremely strange gun. I was actually thinking about maining this gun when it first came out in late 2020. It has a great three hit kill range of 55 studs better than the PP2000 while having 200 extra RPM and can have a 30 round extended magazine with kind of bad reserve ammo, but not a ton of downsides other than that. Statistically, this is actually a better version of the M4A1 with a better three hit kill range, faster RPM with the same magazine capacity. The problem that I found with it is that when it first came out, it had like literally doubled the recoil of that and you know, the recoil there is not good at all. Um, it's very bad. Since it first came out, they have given it a much better recoil pattern which means you can kind of use it at longer ranges, but I'm going to be real. It's strange because it does have a big mag. It does reload fast for the magazine capacity, and it does do good damage, but it doesn't fire that fast. Like the MP1911 has 200 extra RPM and more damage. Yes, it has like more drop and stuff, but it has less recoil and everything. I'll give it a five out of five because of the capacity and everything, but I don't know if it's necessarily an overall better gun than the MP1911. But yeah, because of the recoil buff, it went from basically the worst machine pistol to easily one of the best. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Make sure to comment your favorite machine pistol down below. Kind of crazy that I'm giving this one a five out of five because when it first came out, I hated it because I was like, this is going to be amazing. And then I saw the recoil and I was like, wow, that is bad. Recoil is way better though. So if you want basically primary secondary, but you want a little bit better time to kill than the ASMI, it's uh really up there but i will see you guys in the next one peace